Stu Smith. People ask me about running injuries, and these range from pretty much hip to your toes as far as running injuries are concerned. And typical ones I see are shin splints, heel pain, uh, knee pain, you know, one called ITB, which stands for iliotibial band, but uh, at SEAL training, uh, they used to call it uh, I tried buds for ITB, which was, uh, it's a very common overuse injury. And typically, people get overuse injuries for, from running too fast, too soon, too much, and if they run and they're a little bit overweight, that can typically uh, bother your knees and your shins just a little bit more than normal. So if you're overweight, what I tell people to do is maybe try some non-impact running before they jump into a running program. And if you do jump into a running program, make sure it progresses easily. So every week, you're just a little bit more. And every week, you're just a little bit more. Standard is about 10% increase in time and distance every week. Um, now, as far as preparation is concerned, types of problems that uh, cause these running injuries, other than you just running too much, the type of shoes you wear. Now, what I like to wear, and are these UK gear shoes. Uh, they don't pay me to do this, uh, at least not yet, but I like these UK gear shoes. One, these brown ones that they have, the, the PTO3s, uh, they're actually sandproof and uh, work really well for running on the beach and in the desert. Another reason why I like them is the British military actually tries these out, test them, field test them for the, for the company. Another thing you're going to need to do is an insert because a lot of you guys are probably wearing dress shoes for half the day, you know, at work, and then you go put on a pair of running shoes. And if you don't have a set of good inserts during in your dress shoes, you know, that can cause some small little foot injuries like uh, plantar fasciitis. That's a big one uh, that occurs when people start running again as well, not just shins and knees, but right there in the heel. Good news is. They all can be corrected by proper stretching before and after uh, running. Uh, and some of those stretches you can see on my, on my website, uh, stewsmith.com, if you have questions about that in my running article section. They're all right there. Great pictures to do it. Um, what I do, actually, and I'll show you myself, is I get these inserts right here. I got these from the podiatrist. You just put them in your running shoes. I actually put them in my dress shoes as well if I'm doing a presentation somewhere and I need to wear nice shoes. Or uh, I also put them in my sandals, my Tevas. Uh, put those in. Uh, uh, they just help correct uh, my foot as far as you know, good arch supports. And that's the problem with most people. Because if you don't have this alignment, your, your ankles are going to be out of line, your knees are going to be out of line, and then when you're running, all those little out alignment issues come to bear in the form of some form of tendonitis injury. So very important for your running shoes and your inserts to help you run straighter, run better and more aligned. Um, it just, basically it comes down to footwear and stretching and staying flexible. And if you can't uh, stretch very well, you probably don't need to start running. So I would get into a good flexibility routine, good stretching program, uh, then slowly start building up your running. Uh, basically, that's about it. Uh, live to compete, not just survive. Stu Smith out.